guys, welcome back to another video. First of all, I would like to thank um, you guys for 11 subscribers. And something else I wanted to say is today's topic. Basically, today's topic is things you should not get for your rabbit or that mistakes that you might have made in buying stuff for your rabbit. So let's get started, I guess. So yeah, let's go. Now, I do not have a um, cage or a hutch. I do not have an example for a cage, but I do for a hutch. Um, I'll kind of just like revert a picture or something. Or like I'll show it at the end of the video. Either way, it's fine. But I have a hutch outside. Do I use it? No. Did I use it multiple times in the past? Yes. Um, did I finally realize my mistake? Yes, which is okay, like good, because I won't do it again. So, cages and hutches. Cages tend to be, so cages that are geared towards rabbits tend to be perfect cages for hamsters, as well as cages that are geared towards guinea pigs. Now, I, I'm not, I've never owned any guinea pigs, but I do know that some cages are too small for guinea pigs, and that they are social creatures like rabbits. That's like all I know about guinea pigs and that they also need hay and stuff. Um, but cages and hutches. Now if you've made the mistake of getting a cage, and it's one that you can like lift the, the top off because we use that for um many things. You could like use the cage as a home base, um, not using corner litter boxes, or you could just use CNC grids. Um use that to make a home base, or you could just take the top of the cage. I'm gonna have an example, although I don't have the actual base of a like, rabbit cage because they tend to not sell those here, but I'll show you guys. Uh, this is just an example, it's not actually geared towards rabbits, this is just a tray. And imagine that this is like a wire top, and so there's this. So what I highly suggest you guys do is that you guys just, um, Take the wire, if it uh, has removable wire top, take the wire top off and just use the bottom half as a litter box. Um, I personally used to do that. Use the bottom of a litter, a cage, a hamster cage, an old hamster cage that I have. I no longer own any hamsters, but an old hamster cage. I actually have a use for the top of a tiny hamster cage. This is like the top. So you can see I have like a door here to the side. If I can open it, it's like stuck, but there's like a door here and I guess you see it. So this used to be a hamster cage and I reused it to hold my trash. So that, like that's the kind of stuff you want to reuse it, like just find a way to reuse it. You can also use it as a hay rack, although I highly do not recommend that. Next mistake is getting anything that has the picture of a rabbit on it. Now when you go shopping, you might see a lot of things that seem geared towards rabbits because they have a picture of a rabbit on it as well as a couple other animals on the picture. Um, and just because it, is, it has a picture of a rabbit does not mean it's safe for your rabbit or that you should get it or that it's healthy for your rabbit. Um, Basically, anything that has, that's like the treats, because those tend to be, those tend to be like really high in sugar treats, uh, like water bottles and stuff. Talking about water bottles, the next mistake is water bottles. Now this one's broken, as you can see, I used to use this for my hamster, guys. For my hamster, and it's, I don't know if you can see, this is bunny on there. It has this says upside down, but it says bunny drinking bottle, and it has a picture of a rabbit on it. Now, you, this is 500 milliliters of water, and as you can see, this is a bottle. I, I've never used this one for a rabbit. It was for my hamsters, but getting water bottles. Using water bottles for rabbit just won't, it just doesn't work. Instead of getting a bottle, because like bottles, tend to one, make your rabbit's head, like this where to have the bottom, 
um, they make your rabbit's head curve a little, like, an awkwardly, like, kind of like that. And they also make, um, it's also, like, a not very comfortable pose to drink out of this. And they have to hold their head like that a long time so that they can drink water. And with having a water bottle for the rabbit, you run the risk of being dehydrated. Instead, you should use a water bowl. I actually have an example for. Here's my water dish. It's metal and it's pretty heavy because it's filled with water. I just think that having water dishes, because like rabbits can only up to as much as a big dog could drink water, so I just suggest do not get rabbit bottles. Now I do not really find, I cannot really find any other use for these. Maybe just store some liquid or like have water in here and like pour it into your I don't know I just don't find any reuse of, I don't find anything that's reusable for this something else I find is a mistake is getting toys that are too soft plastic or like rubber now this is not like a, an example it's just um let's pretend this is soft rubber but it's actually more of a harder rubber um, just getting anything that's like dangerous for your rabbit. Another mistake I find is hay racks. Now I do not, I've never owned a hay rack personally. Um, I haven't. I just tend to put my the hay in the litter box. I have never used a hay rack, so I don't have an example for that. Um, but I'll try to like show some pictures and stuff of hay racks. Like, insert it somewhere in the video or at the end of the video. Don't know. Um, but hello, Ivory. You want to say hi to people? You want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? Oh, no. No, I miss you. I miss you so much. Come see you. You go down. Um, but I'll just be paying Ivory if she doesn't leave. You want to go now? Okay. So hay racks are also a big mistake. Most pet store hay racks, plastic hay racks, metal hay racks, some of those hay racks tend to be too, like the slits tend to be too like thin and hello. And not enough hay can get through and just no. They are a big no-no. Instead try getting DIYing your own hay racks, bigger hay racks. For example, I had a DIY hay rack and I still have another box that I had like a hole cut out, so I'll show you guys those. They are right up here. So this is the first one. It already came like this. It had like a lid. Now I've never used this as a hay rack. I've only used this once as a hay rack because it has a big opening. Something else is you could DIY your very own hay rack like so. Put the hay in through the top, or just like put the hay in through the top, and then this is like a big opening. The next thing is getting toys or products that are unsafe for your rabbit. Toys, when it comes to toys, I mean maybe some unsafe wood, maybe some salt licks. Salt licks are something that you might find in pet stores geared towards rabbits. Salt lakes, they say, are something that rabbits like. Uh, if I was a rabbit, I would not just lick salt as my, in my free spare time. It would not be fun. So instead, just try to get a toy that they can safely chew on um, instead of a salt lick. My personal example is getting like some of these, like wood toys, or like DIYing your own. Um, Oh, also, leaving a like on this video will let me know that you want to see a DIY rabbit toys that you can, you know, make or, like, find. So, yeah. So, that's, like, something and one of the biggest mistakes is reading rabbits or buying rabbits. Adopting is better, however. So buying is also an option. I just am not very fond of buying. For example, Ivory was a bought rabbit, 
Mm-hmm. Um, but I wasn't the one to buy her. It was my mom. And then she surprised me with her, and I was like, okay. Now I got a new pet rabbit. Got to care for it. <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, that's how I ended up with Irene. Um, and now she's my pet bum bum, right? She's my pet bum bum. But yeah, you wanna do now? Um, but basically buying, breeding your rabbit with another rabbit, just no. Mm-mm, that's like one of the biggest mistakes. Um, so yeah, another mistake is keeping your rabbit with a predator. Now, this depends on the type of predator. If it's a dog, definitely a big no-no. If it's a cat, also a no-no, but you could try to bond these two animals together, which is what I'm doing with Ivory and Oreo, because they both share a room, so they have to co this together, and it has worked out just fine. They now groom each other. Hello, Ivory. You want to show up again? No? Okay. But um, it's just they groom each other and stuff, but just don't take the risk. I personally had to because Ivory was a surprise after all, and I couldn't just be like, okay, you can live in a cage because I have a cage. My parents have a cage. It used to be a bird cage. We still, we could still use it as bird cage. We do still have bunnies. But she has one night in there and she hated it. But I mean, like, really hate. She would rattle the cage bars. So again, I just was like, she can't be in here. So I took her into my room and now they've gone together. So that's another big mistake. Uh, something else is not giving your rabbit two toys, and that's very self-explanatory. Rabbit's teeth never stop growing, so they need chew toys like these wooden chew toys, wooden sticks that are tied together with some hay. Um, this pie cone, they just need, need, need to have um, something to chew on. Cardboard is also fun. I have this, like, two cardboard, like, I have a whole bunch of cardboard boxes, and it's so that Ivory can chew. Because, see, she likes to chew on this as well. They just need to have chew toys because their teeth never stop growing. Just like hamsters, except these guys, aka, hello Ivory, I'm gonna show your ear. Okay. This girl over here, Ivory, which I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't, but she's a lagomorph, so not a rodent, but their teeth never stop growing. Which is why they need to have hay, unlimited hay, chew toys. So, and another thing is um, not spaying and neutering. We are planning on spaying. Um, pretty sure that's the word I do. Uh, however, she is still too young. I won't make this video any longer. It's already pretty long. So, I guess I'll see you guys again next time. Bye bye. I really don't shoot. That's my shoe. Well, but. Bye bye. Oh wait, we have to do the the uh, ever so famous. Oh, here they go. Uh, outro with ivory in it. So let's get up close to. And bye guys. Don't forget to leave a like, hit the notification bell, and subscribe for unlimited. Uh, yeah, I took. I stole that line. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For um, keep. Oh, don't do that. For kitty care as well as bunny care and content as well as i'll see you guys next time and some diys some arts and crafts sometimes i don't know if i'll start doing that later but bye guys i hope to find you in another video and hope you guys have a awesome day or night or evening whatever afternoon and i'll see you guys the next time bye bye